You learn about there are certain traits within a larger composition, even if it's going to be put on a technically a flat surface, it will give the illusion of depth. So sometimes that typically is the perspective. So for example, his foot is that size because it's behind the buffalo's tail, for example. So his okay. height is relative to their height, but their height is relative to the projection of how far they come out of the Um, well, for example, since we last talked, I've, I've thought about the, the, the perspective and the depth of paint are two things that run in tandem in my pieces. So, to answer your question of what's close and what's far away, this will be the closest area, or the apparent closest area, because these, this buffalo's feet are coming out, sorry, the canvas, and then you go a bit further backwards, um, and the proportion of the figures changes. It's not as obvious at this um, stage when you're not used to seeing something, so you're used to just seeing and reading a 2D object. But once the colour goes in, you'll be able to understand the, perspe the, the perspective a lot more clearer than now. I would say whether it's black and white or colour, you have the same problems with dimension. Because at the end of the day, dimension is there, um, dimension is, is, is there whether it is colour or black and white. It's not, it's not to do with, with tone, it's to do with geometric form. So something like this at the moment doesn't appear to have a very deep perspective, but it does have perspective.